Kiba Backup for WordPress can do more than just backup your WordPress website. It can also backup files and sites that exist above your web routes. There are two occasions where you may want to do this. If you have a downloads folder that you are protecting by keeping above the web routes, you would want to make sure you back that up as well. You may have also installed an additional website, perhaps a subdomain for a forum like this, and you want to make sure that in your Akiba backup you include the forum as well as the WordPress website. We can see there are two options for including data in the backup, one for databases and one for directories. So to begin with, let's look at the databases. Select multiple databases definition. Here we can add the details of the additional databases that we want to back up. Click on the small plus icon and a pop-up opens asking for the connection details for your database. You should have this from your web host. First, enter the host name, the username, the password, and finally, the name of the database you wish to back up. Click on Test Connection, and when you have a success message, click Save. You have now configured Akiba Backup for WordPress to include this additional database in your backup. We now want to include the files. From the dashboard, select the off-site directories inclusion. Again, click on the small plus icon and then click on the folder icon. Here we can see that we have in our hosting account three folders. Downloads, where I am storing the off-site downloads. Forum, for my PHPB forum. And public HTML, which is my current web WordPress website. If I want to include the downloads folder, Simply select it, select Use, and then click on the Save icon. Repeat that for the forum by clicking on the plus, browse, selecting the forum, and select Use. Finally, Save. We can see here that the names of the temporary folders that will be used inside our backup. Now we have added our external database to the forum and our two folders for the downloads and the forum itself and we can go ahead and create a new backup. Restoring this backup is almost the same as the restoration process shown in the other videos. However, there is one final step you'll need to perform. The additional folders that we backed up that were above the web root of our WordPress website have been placed in a temporary location and we need to permanently move them. I'm going to use my FTP program to connect to my server where I have restored this backup. Here in the web root of the website, you'll find a new folder called External Files. If you navigate into that, you will find two folders and a README file. This README file explains that this one is our forum and this is our downloads. So what we need to do is to move those to the correct location of our web server, which in my case is above the web root. So I click Downloads and drag and drop and repeat the same for the forum. Now we can see we have our three folders. I need to rename these to their original names of downloads and folders. Now they are back in the place where they were originally. By using the multiple database definitions and the off-site directories inclusion feature of Akiba Backup for WordPress, we can use it to not only back up our WordPress website, but to back up other databases and folders within our hosting as well.